Hasselhoff? You were robbed. Everyone knows it. But you know what? Sitting around feeling sorry for yourself won't change anything. You gotta get back out there. You gotta show them the real huh? Funny to frightening. Well, thanks for starting out with a greeting from Cousin It, Baywatch. What's next? Are we all gonna float down here in the beach storm drain? Yeah, I'm sure the pressure of being a role model is just killing him. Sorry, we interrupt this broadcast for another late break breaking story. Live from the Pier of Death. Put out the pier! Put out the hot dogs! Ski ball! Sorry, Pierre. The construction angel has come to save the lives of so many precious young souls. I guess you've been axed. Not so fast, League of Extraordinary Tree Huggers have arrived and are raising money to save it, with all the funds being diverted directly into that $20,000 pound armored car. The rest of the merchants here have been working on this pier. I heard they operate very swiftly with their motto being, You cut me, you die. So in the fashion of keeping it obscure, Baywatch has confusingly named this episode Armored Car. We're we talking about the car or those bikini girls because those two look fully loaded. All weekend in the armored car. Yeah, if you stick around those high maintenance girls long enough, the hopester, half of that is gonna go towards funding their sugar baby lifestyle. Come on. I'm lucky to get an extra 210. There's your answer. Sexual harassment. Those little tykes sure make that slurmy approach so cute for a snap from your parents. Being young sure clears you of deducting reasoning and accountability. <laughs> That's my son. Now to make the now to make sure the Pier Festival is operating under the correct weight requirements, OSHA has sent someone has come to check in on the foundation. What I meant by checking, I meant Bob the Builder literally smacked it with a crowbar, hoping for the very opposite not to happen. A simple flashlight and high power binoculars would have saved you from your structural woes and worries. Are you blind? Talk about 
knock on wood. No, I'm not gonna down there. You got a right idea. Mitch later kamikazes his way, operating without any decent restraint, risking life and limb, all to uphold the Fearless Father Award. <laughs> Baywatch HQ, Jill inquires as to whether Trevor wants to join her in an upcoming volleyball tournament. Mixed doubles. I know you were a pro once. Uh, sure, you're a little out of practice now, but uh, I can carry us. 10,000 bucks for the winners. I'm retired. I only play for fun. Trevor agrees to be the goose to her maverick. What could be more fun than trashing your old partner? Chris Barron's favored to win. But they haven't seen us yet, have they? As we are finally treated to a scene that would be more politically correct for a true Top Gun volleyball scene if Kenny Loggins renamed his song to Playing with the Girls. bounce to the ounce. It fits. What doesn't fit is that Jill and Trevor are going up against her ex she used to date until he had an affair. I found somebody else because you flaked out. Oh, that's great. You had an affair and I flaked out? Missing practice? Screwing up on the court? You didn't have the guts to take it all the way. That's not true. You choked. God, this sounds like it was ripped right out of Nintendo's California games. There's no goofing around in the sand. This is a professional tournament. Hey. I am a volleyball demon. For the first time, Trevor puts all his in to help Jill secure the victory. It must be the first time he's ever participated in a major plotline until now. It's not getting any better, is it? Wake up, Rick D's. Rick D's in the morning. 93 KHJ. Next, Tweedledee D wants to treat Twiddly Dope out on a trip somewhere, but Eddie cuts her off despite his vocation. Well, don't feel bad if Eddie rejects you. They say insecure males usually reject attractive things that, much like a remote control, they don't know how to turn any of them on. You know how it is. Well, have fun at your sausage fest, Eddie. In the meantime, you just keep your kibasa to yourself. You're joking. Okay, so he had one okay night with her where she did all of the work and he took all of the instruction. And suddenly they're a couple now? But you don't want to be with me. You don't? Butt out. Did he just boy zone her here? Boy zone. In a world of no pink, no girls, and no drama. Sorry, that's more for established couples whose boyfriends aren't still on their learner's permit, like yourself, Mr. Ed Meister. Now go back to Save the Pier fundraiser, and they haven't left? A worthy cause, just five dollars, help save the pier, come get- Hey, the biggest mistake Baywatch makes is letting useless background and expendable characters stay in episodes longer than they deserve. Your folks is a perfect example to feast your eyes on. No one investigated this yet? I was a man who fell. Still in intensive care, unconscious. Well, apparently Turner and Hooch are getting to the bottom of this as Hooch is doing some serious sniffing around. Listen to this wood. It's creaking and, and groaning. I feel like I'm standing on toothpicks. 
Olympics. One episode whose sole focus was to surround itself around the pier has one fourth of it entirely dedicated to Top Gun volleyball montages. <laughs> Looks like Eddie called off his brocation because after a miracle of some off-screen resolution, they're back together. Eddie. Right up here. Eddie, you're going out with the most attractive girl on Baywatch who wants nothing but your undivided attention alone and you got butterfingers? This is how we spend our day together? Oh, we're, we're alone. Stalin like a child listening to his Walkman while eating Twinkies? What's next? You, you gonna serenade her with Mr. Microphone? Just you and me? Frogs? <laughs> and the Lakers? Eddie's retarded attempt to reconcile their differences at the Kitty Carnival really shows how ignorant you really are. Uh -huh. I won! Alright! Yeah. Johnny gets up and goes, Are you kidding? You're acting like you're going steady? And you have only been together for just a day? Hey, Johnny, where are you? Where do you go? Well, I can't say I don't blame her when you're going out with a man child who needs his diapers every time he faces conflict playing the victim. Thanks, man. Hey, Johnny! Johnny, hey, come on, wait up! Sorry, it takes two to tango, pal. I'm sorry. Sorry you don't have a portable television instead of a radio, you mean. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to The Real Don Steele. KHJ Los Angeles. Back at the Save of the Day Peer from Death from Facing the Death Penalty. A little child is now having her photo op with a getaway money. Come on. Go. Step right up. I'm guessing that makes you Ma Barker, huh? Come on, honey. Come on, show your show me a big smile. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes I'm glad I was an orphan. <laughs> Did you just say orphan Eddie? Come on, honey. Come on, show your show me a big smile. Come on. Sometimes I'm glad I was an orphan. <laughs> You're practically an overgrown man-child who can take care of himself, let alone take care of a woman's needs. Please someone stick a sucker in his mouth and have him shut up. But what do you know? If the pier's gonna go all out, it's gonna go all out in a brand newest live-action thrill attraction taking the girl with her called The Plunge. <laughs> Oh, it's going down. Oh, it's going down. I'm yelling timber. Oh, come on, one more. Make it a scene you'll remember. Can you come to me, huh? Come on. Sure you can. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Come on. So now the lives of this precious little one is now in the hands of Eddie. All right. All right, just relax. Everything's going to be okay. I'll come and get you, all right? Seriously. At once he was a thought of as a helpless little baby, but now he's just a helpless man. Give us a chance to secure the truck. Man, this thing is barely hanging on by a splinter. It's our only chance. Please, Eddie, do something useful or this next scene may contain strong language. All right, just don't move. I'm gonna come and get you. All right? You're gonna be okay. Don't move. We'll get right. you out. Well, you can't reach her now? Let's say God only lets things grow until they are perfect. 
I guess some of us don't take as long as others in life and death and situations. All right. And then in one of the most bizarre rescue attempt angles ever conceived on TV, Shani does a hop on pop to rescue the little girl. Okay, go on. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Use my life. Reach Treating Eddie like a human ladder. Over. Come on, baby. Come on. Well, you go, girl. You smush that little weasel. Come on, there you go. There you go. But now. The two must take the fall for the girl. Hey, that's the price for tending over a kid. You see, these young newlyweds are learning parenthood. They're out there. Good. Push. Let's well, say short people are just that much closer to hell, so Eddie ought to feel right at home here. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, who cares about their desperate pleas? For he's sending them an angel. Jill has a volleyball game to win? However, she's going to have to do this feeling a little short-handed as she has now come down with an arm injury. It'll be all right. Jill, look at yourself. You can hardly raise your arm. Don't be stupid. I don't fancy being humiliated in front of a crowd of people here, you know. Wow, your ass must get jealous of all, of all that shit that comes out of your mouth. You can still win. <laughs> you can't even play. More excuses, excuses from our favorite moody one. I have to. Give me one good reason. Chris. Chris. I said a good reason, like a, a loan shark biting at your heels. Uh, you may want to mark this one very sensitive to hot or cold. I'm pulling out. I've hurt my shoulder pretty bad. Oh, I, I guess things haven't changed, huh? Yes, yes, this is our asshole antenna. They're coming in loud and clear. Easiest win of my career. Thanks, Joe. They say friends don't let friends do stupid things alone. Doesn't take guts to quit. Let's do it. Robert W. Morgan, 93 KHJ. They say Shani works well with others, if you leave her alone. Conserve your energy if I were you, I think we're gonna need it. Shut up, Eddie. Is Eddie's having a wet his pants moment. What are you snapping me for? Well, I guess we know who wears the boots in this relationship. We're trapped in an armored car underwater. And in case you haven't noticed, the water is rising. Wow, has Eddie reached a new low? It's kind of romantic. What? Think about it. We're alone, wet, swimming in money. You're pinned up against the wall by a safe. His stock is literally sinking. <coughs> I'm scared, Eddie. Prepared to go into the dentist. This is a piece of cake. Anyway, by the grace of God, they managed to miracle the car back up to the surface through plain tug of war. Seriously? Are you pulling our leg? We look back on Eddie's life and are now extremely enthused that he's still alive. <laughs> <coughs> wait, wait, we're not wrapped up. Yeah, yeah, we still got more volleyball.
on the ocean and we get caught up. 